Hi, welcome to this tutorial. This is Teacher Raya. In this session, I'm going to show you how to form a transformation matrix when a point or shape is rotated by theta degrees about the origin. So this is part one of matrices rotation. Part two will be in a separate video where I will be doing harder questions on matrices rotation. So to find the transformation matrix, we need to consider two unit vectors, one horizontal vectors here, one zero, and then the other is in vector here, which is zero one. We then rotate the two vectors by theta degrees anti-clockwise. So anti-clockwise is a positive movement. So what we're saying is we're rotating this vector here in that direction and it is now placed here similarly we um, that's the angle theta there similarly we rotate this vector in this direction which is anti-clockwise by theta degrees so let's start by writing these two vectors as matrix so we, ha we have one a zero and a zero one so after the rotation at theta degrees anti-clockwise, then we have R theta 1, 0, 0, 1. What do we get? Where well, this vector here, this unit vector is now here, what will be the position for this vector? Once we draw a vertical line here, similarly we draw a line over here. And then let's say this distance from there to there is a and the distance from there to there is b this length is still one unit length because it's the same uh, unit length here similarly this length here is one this is a and this is a negative b so if we write the position vectors and the new vectors this would be a b so this is a b so vector one zero has now transformed to a b now i can write that as a b here because that's one zero and this vector here has now transformed to negative b a and i can write that here okay so this doesn't make much sense what else can we do well, we have right angle triangles here, so we can use the trigonometric function to substitute the a's and write them as sine and cosine of theta. So let's say sine theta, that's going to be opposite over the hypotenuse, which is b over 1, which is just b. Cos theta is a over 1 which is just a so cos theta is equal to a so now we can rewrite this as a is cos theta b is sine theta then we've got minus b which is minus sine theta and then we've got a again which is cos theta so this is now your transformation matrix which you can use to transform any matrix by any angle. So all you need to remember in order to transform a matrix, you need to remember this transformation matrix and put your angles in. So let's do some examples. Example one, find the matrix that represents rotation of 45 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin. Okay, so we know our transformation matrix is cos theta sine theta and we have negative sine theta and cos theta all we have to do to find the transformation matrix is put in our angle which is 45 so that's going to be cos 45 degrees sine 45 degrees negative sine 45 degrees and cos 45 degrees 
put in the value for this, so cos 45 degrees is 1 over root 2. Sine 45 is 1 over root 2. You should know sine 45 is the same as cos 45. So this is a negative 1 over root 2. And then we have 1 over root 2. So anytime you want to try, you want to rotate a matrix anti-clockwise by 45 degrees, this is the matrix that you need. Example 2. Find the matrix that represents rotation of 60 degrees clockwise about the origin. So this time we have clockwise. Now what I like to do is do my little cast diagram. So I'm just going to do it over here. So we have C there, A there, S there, and T there. And we have zero degrees on the x-axis here. So going anti-clockwise is a positive movement. Going clockwise is a negative movement. Everything is positive here. Sine is positive here. Tan is positive here. Cos is positive here. So if we are going in clockwise direction by 60 degrees, we will be going this way. So let's say that is our 60 degrees is there. Now, if you look at it, only cos is positive in that quadrant. Sign will be negative in that quadrant. Okay, so let's write our general rotation matrix. So I go there's cos theta, sine theta, negative sine theta, and cos theta. We put our angles in, so cos theta is 60 degrees. 60 is, cos is positive in there. So we just write cos 60 degrees. Now sine 60 is negative in that quadrant, so we need to write negative sine 60 degrees. Again, sine is going to be negative in that quadrant, and we have a negative here already, so this part is going to be sine 60 degrees and cos 60 degrees, because in that quadrant, cos is positive. So cos 60 is half, negative sine 60 is negative root 3 over 2, sine 60 is root 3 over 2, cos 60 is half. So this is now your transformation matrix that you can use to transform any matrix by rotating it 60 degrees clockwise. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped and bye for now.